Hello everyone, welcome to the Salesforce CPQ training program. Today I am going to just discuss about one of the Salesforce admin project. Hope you guys uh, uh, able to like complete this particular project for your assignment purpose. So the purpose of this particular project that I am just planning to release in my CP, in my uh, CPQ YouTube channel. So that Salesforce admin who is the new who has just started their career in Salesforce and uh, would like to take an opportunity to work on some project assignment a small module that where you can just uh, follow this particular instructions create this module in your Salesforce uh, developer org and then you can understand uh, this particular application in a better way so that your Salesforce admin skill uh, can be enhanced so <clears throat> as you see my document uh, the project management uh, i am talking about one application called project management the purpose of this application is to manage your end to end project your expense and collections actually so i am giving uh, my application name called sahaj yoga project management uh, app name so first what you have to do you'll have to just create a sahaj yoga project management app give the access rights to all profile so before you start with this particular application design just try to have your own developer org if you do not have any kind of like a developer org so what you can do you can go ahead and register your developer org with help of uh, developer.salesforce.com just click on sign up then uh, register your one of your developer org here after registration what you guys have to do you will guys have to just complete this particular assignment okay so after creating this application what next you have to do you'll have to just create a following object and tab so whenever you start creating a, a particular object you must have to associate this particular object with a tab so your project object name could uh, should be a project and the standard field uh, called project name so you have you have your uh, name field so by default your name field will be a project name and uh, <coughs> associate this uh, object with a standard tab called project so you will have to create one you will have to just give a style sheet to your project tab and uh, add this tab in your Sahaj Yoga project management application that you have created on the first step. After creating this particular object, our next step is to create a field, following field on your project object. You will have to create a status underscore underscore C, which is a picklist type called open, close, in progress, and on hold. You will have to create a project start date, which should be a date type. Project description which should be a restrict area type, project close date which should be a date type, project type should be a pick list values is a monthly or weekly or meditations or public program. So this pick list value can be anything whatever you like to have it you can change your pick list values. Reason for on hold so let's suppose somebody is changing your project status to on hold you will have to put or user has to put the reason for on hold. And then project is which is a formula field which is a number type today minus my project started so let's suppose i have started my project in uh, uh, first december 2021 and now today is 27 so almost i have completing like 60 days or something right so your project is will be derived from this particular formula after that what you have to do you will have to write a workflow rule field update whenever whenever any persons who is using this particular applications and creating a project and changing the status to closed update the project close date to today's date so this is what you have to do the project close date should be updated whenever i am changing the status to a close so you'll have to write either workflow rule or process builder or flow if you are comfortable with the flow just start creating a flow if you are comfortable with workflow rule field update create the workflow rule field update now coming to the validations rule now what you have to do you will have to create these two validations rules. one is for project close date should always be greater than the project start date so project start date cannot be greater than your project close date so always your project date 
close date should be greater than your project start date. This is the, my first validation rule that I am asking you to create. Another, uh, another, uh, what you call the scenario is here for your validation is called in case project status is on hold. Then in this scenario, reason for hold, reason for on hold. This is the, the field which we have created in my this space. This field cannot be left blank in case I am changing the status on hold. Okay, so if I am putting reason for on hold is a blank and selecting my project status to on hold, so this field should not be blank. So this is two validation rule that you have to create. After that, what you have to do, you will have to create a, another object called project expense, associate with the tab name called project expense, and and add this add this uh, object to a tab called uh, tab as this uh, add this particular object to a tab, and then add to an application called project Sahaja Yoga project management uh, applications. So once you have associated this particular object to a tab, just try to understand while associating a tab, you'll have to add this tab to a project management applications. Okay. Now after creating this particular object, these are all fields that you have to create on a project expense object. The name field should be a auto number, which should be a PE project expense 0000 curly braces. So the name field should be auto number. Then you have a project underscore underscore sui. It should be a master detail relationship. Expense date should be a date type. Expense amount should be a currency type. Check number should be a text 100. Check date should be a date type. And bank name should be your text 50 name. So these are all fields that you have to create on the expense object. Now coming to another object called project collections. After creating this project collection object, you have to associate this to a tab and the tab name should be project collections and then try to add this particular tab to an application called Sahaja Yoga project. So guys, for your Sahaja Yoga project management, you have three tabs. One is called your project. Then you have another tab name called project expense. Then you have another tab name called project collections. So for project collections object you guys have to create following fields one is called name this would be a project collections auto number project should be a master detail collection date should be a date type collection amount should be a currency type fine after creating this project project expense and project collections you will have to create some role of summary field because I would like to see on a project itself what all total expense that I have, what all total collections we have. So these two roll up summary field you will have to create on a project object. And then what you have to do, you will have to create a following report collection in each month this year, expense in each month this year, how many, uh, how many uh, <coughs> collection that we did in uh, every month. Let's suppose uh, for this particular year, I would like to see the number of collections or number of total number of expenses. So I can easily see. And uh, these are the list of questions that I would like to ask uh, because you are you guys are preparing for your uh, Salesforce admin and would like to just enhance your knowledge on Salesforce admin. That's it. So these are all uh, applications that you have to create in your assignment. And the same assignment, guys, you can find in my CPQ hours channel. You go to your CPQ hours.com. Okay. Once you click on a CPQ hours, you have your CPQ admin assignment. In that admin assignment, you can see the same admin assignment I have also added in my blog. You can grab, you can go to this blog and just check the particular assignment here as I am not actually you can also see. What all question that I have asked? These are all question that I'm asking for your Salesforce admin preview program. Hope you guys uh, uh, <clears throat> have a good understanding on this particular project assignment. Please share this my YouTube channel. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, add to your um, uh, social media network. Uh, if you have any further questions or queries, you can submit your email to me. I will try to help you and reply you. Um, 
you would like to know about me who am i i am a i am a sales force uh, instructor and trainer and uh, i am running my own company name called kriya consulting services uh, these are all my profile that you can find me from here for any like a sales force cpq related uh, stuff you can just uh, go with this uh, cpq channel and this is my cpq learning training program you can see this is the my cpq uh, channel for this particular session so thank you guys thanks for joining this particular salesforce training program see you next